So I promise you, I'm not lying right now. So I just happened to put the net in front of his face and he literally swam right into it. I swear on everything. They're worth a decent amount. So they're like $5 a piece, I believe. What is up guys, welcome back to another video and today I have something specially planned for you guys. I'm gonna be trying to catch aquarium fish on the side of my canal. I've actually caught them before in a way back video right here. It is one of my first videos on my channel and I was actually just brought to my attention by someone I was talking to on DM last night and they said that they're worth a decent amount. So they're like $5 a piece I believe. So we're gonna be trying to catch these guys just to see if we can actually catch them once again. I'm sure we can, I always do. When I come out here to catch mosquito fish and there's really, really small flag fish, that's what they are, like that big right there. And a few that are decent size, they're actually pretty big. Um, yeah, as you can see behind me and everywhere, it is about to start storming. So we're gonna try to get this video done. And if I can't, I'll come back out here later and finish the video. But let's first get some water inside of our mini aquarium that we're gonna be putting these fish in. So a lot of you probably already know what this is, but if you haven't already checked out my videos that with this aquarium right here, you might as well just go back and click them right here to get caught up before we do this video. So let's get some water right now. Probably fill it up a little bit more than halfway. There we go. Now we're gonna set this in a place where it won't get touched by ants or anything, which should be right there. I'm not sure if you guys can all see that, but there's a whole bunch of small tilapia and other things like bluegills, sunfish, just a whole bunch of variety of fish inside of this mini canal that's right next to my house. So let's get started out with trying to catch these fish inside of the weeds that are down there. I don't even know what those are called, but it is infested here with those. So let's try to catch some. There's some mollies right here. Where'd they just go? Right there, there's some mollies. I'll maybe try to catch a few of those too, just to put them inside of the aquarium since those are also aquarium fish. But um, yeah, let's, let's stop blabbering and let's actually catch some aquarium fish inside of this mini drainage canal which is infested with a whole bunch of really cool things. Got my handy dandy net. It actually extends out to probably five feet to six feet. Um, let me set you guys down really quick. So let's start this challenge out by catching some mollies first, just to get something inside of the bucket because they're right here, so they shouldn't be too hard. Okay. All right, I got three, I believe. Three mollies right here, just to start it off. There you go. Let me put these guys inside of the little tiny aquarium right here. Pretty much sinking inside of my canal right now. But now we're gonna be getting onto the real stuff. We're gonna see if we can get any of the flag fish. I just murked up this water really bad. So I'm gonna cruise around here, check inside of the weeds or the algae, whatever you wanna call this. I know the wind is probably really bad for you guys right now, but I'm gonna try my best to make this video as good as I can. And let's get on to catching the flag fish. Here we go. Oh! Damn it. I just fell like all the way into the freaking canal. Oh, what the hell is touching my foot? I just caught a baby molly with my hand. All right, so I don't know what these guys are right here. Something really, really weird. They have a stripe on them. I catch a lot of those guys. I don't know what they are. We're just gonna throw them back inside of the canal for now. But if I do find out whatever they are, you guys let me know down in the comment section below because I have no clue what those are at all. And I really want to figure it out because I've caught them for literally so many years now. I just caught one. I just caught one of the flagfish, a very tiny one, but it's still a start. Oh, it's actually not that bad. It's a decent sized one. Got a few more mollies and other things like that. And a massive one of those things I just showed you right now. Thing is huge. All right, we're gonna toss them back in. We're gonna toss everything back in like this decent sized molly. We're gonna put them back inside of the water. And the only thing I really want right now is this flagfish that's right here. Oh, I got a baby one too. So we got a micro one and then we got a bigger one. 
So these are the small flag fish that I've been talking about. There's a small one on the top and then the big ones on the bottom. Let me move this out of the way. So they're very beautiful fish. As you can see, they have some really cool colors on them. Just look at that. All right, we're gonna set them inside of the aquarium so we can get a better view of everything once we're done. But we're gonna try to get a few more of these guys and then probably some more mollies and some of those fish that have the stripes. All right, so let's go try to get some more. I really want a big one, the biggest one I could find. The biggest one I've ever found was probably about the same size as the one I just put inside of the aquarium. So let's try to get my record size. So we just got a decently sized shrimp right there. I'm not sure if you guys can really catch that with your eye, but we got a shrimp. We're gonna put him inside of the, this one's actually pregnant. That's pretty cool. You see the little eggs at the bottom. Nothing extraordinary except for this that's not even open yet. So that's actually pretty cool. Everything's probably spooked from that one spot that I just netted everything at. So let's go head on a little bit farther down. And this canal is no joke. I'm sinking so bad. If you made it this far and you like watching me sink in my canal, up to my uh, pretty much mid thigh almost now. Go leave a fat thumbs up. It's just so bad with sinking. All right, we got a few more of the striped fish. We're gonna go back down again, see if we can get some more or something like that. Nope, just some more striped fish, that's it. I don't know what they're called, so I'm just calling them the striped fish because they have the stripes. We're gonna take these guys out and put them inside of the aquarium. All right, one just jumped back in the water, so that's too bad for me. We're gonna see if over here has anything worth catching. I might try to catch a bass or something right now. Let me see. Did I get anything? Oh, I got one of the sunfish things. This is actually insane. I really did not think I was gonna catch this. Look at this. I don't know what it's called either. We're just gonna slip them right in there since we caught one. Oop, look at him. He's disturbing everything else in there, so we're probably not going to have him in there for long just for the thumbnail. So we seem to have no more luck with the flagfish, so I'm going to Turn off the camera really quick. I don't want to be wasting the battery. I don't have much left. So let me try to get a few more flag fish and I'll get to you when I have them. I lied. I actually caught something really cool right after I turned off the camera. And this is what we call cow minnows. And just because it's a cow mosquito fish, it has black dots on it. I don't know what the actual term is. But that's something really cool. So we're going to keep him and also put the rest of these mollies and everything else that I have inside of my hand inside of the little little contraption we have going over there. This one actually has a really bright tail, which usually means that these are the males. You can see it's orange and blue tail right there, but I don't wanna have them out of the water for too long. Another bycatch right here, a baby Mayan cichlid. So this little guy is actually invasive, so we're gonna be bringing him back to my house and feeding him to my peacocks. I've probably been out here for Another 20 minutes since I filmed the last part before I caught the Mayan cichlid, obviously, and I have not caught a single more flagfish. So we're gonna be trying for another like 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna show you guys everything that we have inside of the mini aquarium. I just caught another baby one right here. So there's another success, little baby one. Let's put him inside of the little aquarium over here. So since I just found that one, it actually gave me a little bit of hope. I'm gonna try a little bit longer, maybe to find another one, another big one is what I'm really looking forward to. So let's go back out there and try to catch a few more. So 
So I promise you, I'm not lying right now. I was all the way down there by those fences, all the way down there. And I literally just saw a gar sitting on the bottom. <laughs> so I just happened to put the net in front of his face and he literally swam right into it. I swear on everything. I am not joking right now. He literally just swam right into the net and I just scooped him right up. And um, now we have a gar inside of my net, biting onto it. This gar is gonna be a pain. I already know it. Ah! Oh, he's so slimy. I don't like it at all. Get off of my net. Look at him. He's literally just chomping onto the net right there. All right, let go. Show the camera how nasty your teeth are. Come on. Come on. Dude, those are in some, those are insane. All right, we're gonna get him back in the water now. We just got a thumbnail. Okay, or just do that. Literally just flopped right out of my hand. So I just made it back to my house and I actually brought everything back in here because it was so hot outside. I was literally sweating so bad and I feel like I was gonna get a heat stroke. But we have all of the fish inside of the little tank right here. We're gonna be putting the flag fish inside of this tank over here, the 80 gallon tank right behind me. So let's do that first. I'm gonna go get my little net. I'm gonna be putting the flag fish and the shrimp in there actually. I think I have two shrimp in here. Here is the shrimp and one of the flag fish, the small one. He isn't looking too good. Be aware that the fish that died inside of this thing right here are gonna be getting fed to them. So there's no worries about any leftover fish. I'm sorry if that affects you, but that's what happens. The dead fish are gonna get fed to the peacocks over here. But I'm gonna be putting the shrimp and one of the flag fish in here just to see how they're gonna do. So once again, here's the big flag fish. Let me show you them a little bit better. There's a good view on him. We're gonna be taking him and then the tiny flag fish also inside of the big tank. Now everything else that is in here is mollies and mine cichlids and whatever the striped fish are, which all the striped fish actually passed. I'm pretty sad about that. I really wanted to put them inside of the community tank. But that is where I'm going to end off today's video. Make sure to go down below and leave a fat thumbs up and also go and click the subscribe button. If you haven't already done so, put the post notifications on. I hope you all had a fun time watching this video. I had a fun time making it for you guys besides the fact that it was so hot outside. But I will see you all in my next video.